Okay, uh, next punta naman tayo sa uh, financial institutions. Ito yung next natin. What are the different financial institutions? Number one, yan, yung ating investment banks. So, what are investment banks? These are organizations that underwrite and distribute new investment securities and helps businesses obtain financing. Okay, so again, ano, uh, ano ulit plus yung process of underwriting? The investment banks will uh, acquire or purchase the securities of the businesses. And then later on, will distribute the same securities to the savers or to the investing public. Okay, so yan yung investment banks. Okay, uh, number two, commercial bank. So ano naman yung commercial bank? So ito, ito very familiar tayo sa commercial bank are the traditional department store of finance serving a variety of savers and borrowers. Okay, so ano ba yung business model ng commercial banks? Siyempre, yan, tatanggap yan ng deposits from the savers. Okay, and then yung deposit na natatanggap nila from the savers will be uh, loaned out to the borrowers. Okay, so siyempre, yung binabayad nila na interest dun sa savers, mas maliit kesa dun sa interest na sinisingil nila dun sa borrowers. So, yan yung business model nila. Okay? So, commercial banks. Okay? Next, number three, financial services corporations. So, these are firms that offer a whole range of financial services, including investment banking, brokerage operations. So, when we say brokerage operations, ito trading. Di ba? So, trading. So, parang ano sila, nagiging... Um, middle middlemen sila ng uh, buyers and sellers, okay, insurance and commercial banking. So syempre kasi alam naman natin to, normally yung mga uh, commercial banks na alam natin, BDO, BPI, so syempre part sila ng isang malaking conglomerate na uh, ang ino-offer talaga ng services ay ito, okay? Part ng financial services corporation. Okay? So, ayan o, meron tayong loans, treasury, trade facilities, investment banking, insurance, and other services. Okay? Uh, number four, credit unions. So, ano naman yung credit unions? These are, normally, ang uh, ano nito, cooperative. Yeah, cooperative associations whose members are supposed to have a common bond, such as being employees of the same firm. Okay, so yan. Normally, ang uh, type na organization is cooperative. Okay? Uh, this is normally the cheapest source of funds available to individual borrowers. Again, ang important dito, yung members, diba? yung members ay may common fund. Uh, and ang pinaka-best example talaga dyan ay yung being employees of the same firm. Okay? Next, yung ating number five, pension fund. Ano ba yung pension funds? These are Retirement plans funded by corporations or government agencies for their workers. Normally operated by uh, life insurance companies or yan, pension fund companies. So, best example, itong Philam Asset Management Incorporated. So, nag-ooperate sila ng pension funds. So, ano ba nangyayari sa pension fund? So, yung employer, so private corporations man yan or government agencies, ay mag uh, make ng regular payments ba? or premiums doon sa pension funds. Okay? So, yung uh, ano na yun, magiging, syempre, part na yan ng plan asset. So, yung plan asset na yun, i-invest yan ni, uh, ni life insurance company, for example, okay, sa stocks or bonds, etc. Okay? And then later on, so syempre, yan yung ipambabayad doon sa retiring employees. Okay? Pension funds. Next, we have uh, life insurance companies. So, ano ba yung life insurance companies? These are companies that take savings in the form of periodic premiums, okay, investing these funds in stocks, bonds, real estate, etc., and making payments to whom? To the beneficiaries of the insured parties. Okay? So, yan yung life insurance. Uh, by the way, uh, ma-mention ko lang, ah, um, Additionally, yung insurance, talaga nga, ang business model lang nila ay ito lang talaga. Ang payments ay made to the beneficiaries of the insured parties. 
Okay, pero nowadays, 'di ba, ang uh, common kasi ngayon, yung insurance with investment component. Okay? So para yung sinasabi kasi nung uh, nung ibang yung ibang nag invest ay wag na tayong mag-insurance kasi wala naman akong mapapalang benefit diyan, 'di ba? Kasi ang payments nga is uh, the payments are made only to the beneficiaries of the insured parties. And kaya ngayon, nagkaroon na tayo ng mga bagong forms of uh, insurance na may kasamang investment uh, component. So, yung mga VUL, okay? so yung may mga insu uh, insurance and investments. Okay? Uh, next, mutual fund. Ano naman yung mutual fund? So, organizations that pull investor funds, purchase financial instruments, and thus reduce risk through diversification. And, okay? So, dito sa mutual funds daw pala, dito, for example, meron kang 1,000 pesos or 2,000 pesos. So, pwede ka na mag-invest sa multiple uh, companies as part of mutual fund. Kasi ang ginagawa nito mga organization na to, kinocombine nila yung funds ng mga investor. Okay? And then, kapag yung malaking funds na yon yun nga yung ipang-purchase nila ng uh, securities, such as tax or funds. Okay? So, kasi, for example, meron kang 10,000 pesos. Yung 10,000 pesos mo, pwede mo yung i-invest, di ba? So, kay Jollibee, kay San Miguel, kay URC, etc. Or, pwede mo rin yung ilagay sa mutual fund na nag invest dito sa ating uh, multiple stocks. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, mas diversified. So, mas mababa daw yung risk. Okay? So, those are mutual fund companies. Okay? Next. So, we have exchange traded fund. So, ano naman yung exchange traded funds? Out of this, uh, these are similar to regular mutual funds. So, nag invest din yan sa multiple stocks or bonds and are often operated by mutual fund companies with the main difference being that it is traded in the public market. So, exchange traded. Okay. So, ayan o. So, for example, iShares, FTS, EA50 China. So, sa Chinese uh, stocks ito nag invest So, meron niyang price. And then, pwede mo itong i-benta sa isang public exchange. So, yun yung difference. Okay? Tapos kasi itong mutual fund na to, okay, para ma-ano mo yan, ma makuha mo ulit yung investment mo, syempre, ikakash out mo yan mula do sa mutual fund company. Okay? Unlike dito sa exchange traded funds, pwede mo yan i sa another investor. Okay? So, yun yung difference. Pero dun sa business model, parehas lang. Diba? Ipupull yung uh, funds ng investor and then i-invest sa uh, multiple securities. Okay? Uh, number nine, hedge funds. So, ano ba yung hedge funds? These are similar to mutual funds. So, ganun din. Pinupull din yung funds from investors except that it is generally accessible only to accredited investors. So, ito pala, may restriction para makapag-invest ka sa hedge funds. Normally, dito ang, ang restriction is the minimum amount of investment. Okay? So, normally, internationally, ang minimum investment dyan sa hedge fund, millions of dollars. Diba? Kaya, hindi ka makakapag-invest sa hedge funds. Okay? And, it requires less SEC regulation. So, hindi masyadong regulated yung hedge funds. Okay? So, class, uh, ma-mention ma ko lang, uh, yung term kasi na yan, kaya siya tinawag na hedge fund, ito kasi yung mga funds na ginagamit uh, normally to hedge the risk. Okay, when we say hedging the risk, ito kasi yung pag-o-offset ng risk. So, for example, um, let's say meron tayong isang entity. Let's say yung entity natin ay, hmm, okay, mag-isip ako. Isang airline, yan, isang airline. Okay? So, plus, uh, yung airlines kasi, meron yung risk. For example, yung risk nila ay yung presyo ng gasolina or yung presyo ng oil ay tumaas. Diba? Risk yan. Business risk yan ng mga airlines. So, to hedge the risk or to offset the risk, pwede silang mag-invest sa hedge fund uh, na ang strategy ay futures regarding oil. So, kapag kasi ganun, meaning uh, kahit tumaas or bumaba yung price ng oil, 
guaranteed na sila na mabibili yung oil at this price. So, kung tumaas man, hindi sila malulugi. To offset the risk. Okay? Or to manage the risk. So, yun, talaga, yun naman talaga yung traditional na purpose ng mga ganitong funds. Hindi naman to uh, generate profit eh. Diba? Dito kasi to hedge or to offset the risk. Yun yung normal na purpose niya. Okay? So, those are hedge funds. Okay? Ating private equity companies. So, companies that operate much like hedge funds, so, ganun pa din. Meron pa din restriction as to minimum amount of investment. But rather than purchasing some stock of a firm, dito kasi, sa hedge fund, ang binibili dito, mga stocks and mga bond. Okay? Dito naman sa private equity companies, instead of purchasing some stock of a firm, private equity players buy and then manage entire firms. So, buong business yung binibili nila or yung ina-acquire yung private equity companies. Okay? So, ayan yung ating different financial institutions. Okay, review ulit natin ha. So, ayan, meron tayong investment banks, number one. Number two, commercial banks. Number three, financial services corporations. Number four, credit unions. Number five, pension funds. Number six, life insurance. Number seven, mutual funds. Number eight, exchange traded funds. Number nine, hedge funds. And number 10, private equity company. Okay? Actually, hindi lang naman yan eh. Yung uh, types of financial institution. Pero yan yung pinaka-common. And yan yung ating major financial institutions. 